The disintegration of PU239 is accompanied by loss of 5.24 mega electron volts per disintegration. It means when PU239 plutonium 239 is disintegrating what is the loss of energy that is equal to 5.24 mega electron volts per disintegration now your half life for plutonium is equal to 2440 years Calculate the energy released per day from 1 gram sample of plutonium 239 in mega electron volts. What do you have to find out? You have to find out the energy released by disintegration. plutonium 239 okay so how much 1 gram right per gram sample per day how will you find out calculate the energy just tell me how will you find out the energy over here So, first of all, let's take out the lambda. Now, students, this is in disintegrations per second. What do you mean by disintegration per second? Per second. That is what? That is activity. So, what do you need to find out? You need to first find out the activity that is this plutonium 239 is undergoing how many disintegrations in a day, right? Or disintegrations per day or disintegrations per unit time is an activity. So what you need to find out is that plutonium 239 is undergoing how many disintegrations per day how can we find out that we can find it out with the help of half life again now when you are provided with the half life you can find out lambda that is the radioactive decay so your radioactive decay will be equal to 0 0.693 and that divided by 2440 years and that should be equal to how much? So it is 0 0.693 divided by 2440 and this will give what? 2.84 into 10 to the power minus 3. Right? Per year. Now this is the disintegration per year, right? How will you find it out per day? Per day would be in one year. There are how many uh, this thing days? How many days are there? 365 days, right? So what you need to do is you need to divide this by 365. So, what will be the answer? 2.84 divided by 365 and that would be 7.78 into 10 to the power minus 5 disintegrations per day. Right? So, this is this plutonium. Uh, the radioactive decay constant of this plutonium is 7.78 into 10 to the power minus 5. Now, this activity is equal to dn by dt and that is equal to what? Lambda n. You know that 
the change in concentration of the radioactive element per unit time is proportional to the number of atoms present right so this would be equal to 7.78 into 10 to the power minus 5 that multiplied by how will you find out number of atoms first find out the number of moles that is equal to 1 by 229 sorry 239 which is the atomic number of plutonium right and that's multiplied by how many atoms are there per mole 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 right so what will you get here you will get here the activity per gram per atom so this will be equal to 7.78 into 10 to the power minus 5 multiplied by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 239 so this will be the activity that is 1.96 into 10 to the power 18 per gram per day right per gram atom per day because you have converted it to atom now students or this many disintegrations per day you can say so this is this many disintegrations per gram atom per day disintegrations per gram atom per day now check out for what is asked in the question our question is calculate the Calculate the energy released per day from 1 gram atom sample, 1 gram sample of this. So, by the loss of 1 disintegration, how much energy is released? 5.24. So, how many disintegrations are there? 1.96 into 10 to the power 18. So, how much energy will be released? The energy released will be equal to 1.96 into 10 to the power 18 into this is 5.24 per disintegration. And the answer you will get is 1.02 into 10 to the power 20 mega electron volts so how much energy will be released students the energy released will be equal to 1.20 into 10 to the power 20 mega electron volts got my point that is 1.96 so it is 10 to the power 19 mega electron volts per disintegration